Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the oven temp sensor on your range, and it's a really easy job. All you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of wire strippers, and a small flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, it's suggested that you can replace the part from inside the oven, but we found that it's much easier to actually pull the range away from the wall and work from both the front and the rear. So the first step will be to disconnect the power from the range, then carefully slide it away from the wall, remembering to put something underneath the legs to protect your floor. Next we'll open the oven door. Next we'll remove the top rack to give you a little more access. And then with a the Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove the two screws that secure that sensor to the back wall. And then carefully pull the sensor away from the back wall as far as the harness will allow you. Now, if you are able to pull it through that opening enough to find the harness connector and disconnect it at that point, you may find that it uses the same type of connector as the replacement part. If not, you will need to cut that wire at that point and then we'll take the new sensor to the wire harness and pull it back through from the rear. Now with the sensor disconnected, we can now cut that harness with a pair of wire cutters and cut as long a length as you can possibly do there and then we'll tape the new sensor to it. Next, we'll tape the new sensor to the harness with either a piece of electrical tape or duct tape. Make a nice, snug, and tight connection there. And then we'll force that into the opening as far as we can get it. Now, with the new sensor, in place, we'll install the two screws to hold it securely. And we can replace the upper rack. And now we'll access the rear of the range and do our wire connections there. Now that we have access to the back of the range, we can remove the access panel. There's two quarter inch hex edge screws that secure the panel on the back of this range. gives us access to the original harness and we should be able to find the leads to the new one that we push through from the front. We move that insulation out of the way. tape. Now with the tape removed, we can also look at the original harness connector and compare it to see if it's the same as the new sensor. There's a couple of locking tabs on there that you'll need to insert a small flat blade screwdriver into. And release those. and then compare the two ends. And these two will not fit, so we will have to cut those off and then we'll wrap them together. So simply cut them fairly close to that harness connector. And then we'll strip back about a half an inch of the insulation
And then we'll do the same with the connector that's on the new sensor. We'll cut that off. And we'll pull those two wires through from the protective insulation that's on there. Enough that we can strip the wire, indicating about a half an inch. Now there's no polarity to worry about on these sensor wires, so it doesn't matter which ones you connect them to. We'll twist them together. We get a nice connection. And then we'll take one of the ceramic insulators. Tighten that on. We'll do the same with the second wire. And again, tighten the ceramic wire nut. Secure them in position and then we'll replace the access cover. Over the existing holes. And then we'll place the two quarter inch hex edge screws. Now we're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.